everybody, welcome to another episode here on Jessica Smith TV. I'm so excited to introduce you to my sister Courtney here, who is currently in her third trimester. So today's workout is prenatal cardio. Now before you get started moving with us, I please want you to make sure that you've checked with your doctor to make sure that this type of exercise is appropriate for you and your pregnancy. So once you have your doctor's clearance, feel free to give this nice gentle cardio session a try with us. We're gonna be barefoot today. If you wanna leave your shoes on, that's totally up to you. But we're just gonna start warming up here. So we've got this nice side to side tap, kind of working through the feet here. Think about really pointing through your toes, strengthening through the arches of the feet. You got a little extra pressure there now that you're carrying another set of weights in the front of your body, right? So we're gonna keep going with that side to side tap. We're gonna to start to swing the arms out and down. So just think about taking some nice deep breaths, checking in with our posture. So now that you've got the center of gravity of your body shifting a little bit, right, with that extra weight, Court, we want to really think about posture more so than ever. So really pull the shoulders back and down. Peanut's going to join us here, I think. <laughs> Tapping it out side to side. Good. Nice. Now let's take the arms all the way up, all the way down. So a bigger range of motion, just really starting to build the heat gently in the body. Good. So remember, now that you're moving for two, your heart rate's going to come up a little bit faster than it used to, right? So just go with the flow. If you find that you need to take more of a break than we give you, feel free to do that at any time. Let's do two more here. Good, now just steady your feet. Let's go into just a gentle plie. So we've got our feet turned out wide. We wanna make sure the knees are going over the toes, but make this comfortable for your body. So if you start to feel any pressure in the knees, maybe make it a little shorter. You can bring your feet in and out. Just position to make it work. Good. Now from here, we're just gonna take our left arm up to the ceiling, come down to the inside of the knee, and just reach across the body. So feel a little stretch across your upper back, and then open up to that diagonal line. Yeah, beautiful. So I should tell you guys that my sister is a modern dancer, so she picks up on moves pretty quickly here. Good. Take it down, and she's been exercising throughout her pregnancy. So remember not to compare yourself to us. Just go through your journey at your own pace. Two more. Good, let's take it back to the center, both arms down and up. Just getting ready to set that up on the other side. So now we're gonna extend that right arm up, take it down and across to the inside of that knee, reach it up, good. How you feeling, Court? Good, you starting to get warmer? Good. Taking it down and across. Beautiful, so we get that stretch. We're also waking up those core muscles. So as you know, past your first trimester, you really don't wanna be doing those traditional ab moves on the floor, but there's certainly lots of ways that you can continue to strengthen the abs and especially the back during pregnancy. We're gonna show you some of those moves in our prenatal series here. Give me four more. Three, beautiful, last two. Nice, let's just go back to that side to side, toe tap we did before, giving it a little bit more of a push through the feet. And let's see if we can just start to lift the leg slightly off the floor. So it's just a little lift, nothing major. Good, and we're gonna get those arms going again. Just want you to cross your arms in front of you. We're gonna inhale out and cross, out and cross. So real gentle, nice flowing energy, but we should be feeling a nice steady heat through the body. The heart rate's up there, right? We're breathing a little heavier now. Good, excellent, nice. So just feel your energy expanding side to side as the foot and the fingertips reach long. Good. Give me eight more here. It's eight, six, and four, three. Let's just gently walk the feet together. Just give me a little march. Nice. So are we warm? We good? Oh yeah. Okay, let's take a little shoulder roll. Squeeze your shoulders up and back. Up and back. So loosening up any tension in the neck and the shoulders. 
Good. That's it. Nice. Now all we're gonna do is take our left foot and step forward and back. Forward and back. So it's just a gentle little kind of cha-cha step. Good. Excellent. So you can do this instead of the treadmill, instead of jogging. Good. Take it forward, take it back. Now let's just let the arms come forward, stretch the back and open the chest. Stretch the back, open the chest. So we're gonna round forward, yeah, kind of like giving yourself a little hug as you step into it, step back and breathe. Good, down and back. Let's do four more like that. It's four, three, last two, one more. Let's walk and hold it, just breathe. Good, so we're just gonna set that up on the other side. Steady your feet for a second. Take this foot forward, take it back, good. Courtney, this is bringing back so many memories of when we were kids. This is what we used to do as little girls. Not quite as structured, but we had a lot of fun with our parents' video camera. Now let's take those arms into it. We're gonna take that hug forward and back. Good. Although we didn't have peanut all around us the whole time. Take it down and back. Good. So just let the breathing happen naturally. Round and open the chest. Gorgeous. Nice. Give me four more like that. It's four. Three. Two. Yes. Last set. And walk it out. Just breathe. Good. So check back in with your posture. Good. So we have that tendency, now that you've got that extra weight in the front, to start to lean forward, right? We want to fight the posture as much as we can. So pull your shoulders back and down. Let's do a little work on the posture muscles as we continue to just walk in place. Take your arms overhead. You're going to bend your elbows, pull your shoulders down to your hips. Inhale deeply, stretch for the ceiling. Exhale, pull your shoulders down to your hips. Good, let's go a little bit quicker. Take it up, take it down, up and down. So anytime the arms go over the head, the heart rate automatically spikes a little bit higher. Good. So just focusing on that nice, tall, Posture. Your chest is lifted, your heart is open. You're squeezing those shoulder blades down to your hips. Beautiful. Let's do four more here. It's four, three, nice, two, and one. Just let the arms come down, come back to your walk. Good, so we're gonna keep walking the feet. Let's just take them a little bit wider apart here. Keeping the good posture. Nice, so we're gonna keep the knees and toes just kind of gently turned out, nothing major. Kind of about 45 degrees with the knees and the toes. And we're gonna go into a little plie squat. So sit back into your hips. We're gonna come down and up, yeah. So I call this one, pick up the baby and lift it over your head. So we're gonna start to add some arms. So keep that spine nice and long and you're kind of hinging forward as if you're about to reach to the floor. So let's take the arms down and up, down and up, good. So we're preparing the body for all those activities that are about to happen once the baby comes. You're probably not gonna lift up that baby 25 times in a row, but <laughs> we don't have the weight of it either. Good, take it down and up, nice. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna change the timing here for a second. Pulse it down for three counts. Then we're gonna slide the heel in, step up. So we got pulse, switch legs. This heel comes in and lift. Yeah, three, two, one, and lift. Good, so pick up the baby, lift it up, give it a smile. There you go, and down, two, three, and lift. Good, nice. How you feeling, Court? Good. Yeah, good. And lift. We hope you at home are feeling great too. Step and squeeze. So this one is a great way to target those inner thighs. We got the whole body working for us. Big muscles in the legs, the back, and of course those arms. We're gonna do three more. Nice, last two. Yeah. Give me one more. Here it is. Three, 
Good, let's take it back to that little step tap. Woo. So just breathe for a second, yeah, yeah. So we should be feeling nice and warm, maybe sweating a little. We're picking up through the heart rate, picking up through the breath, but we're keeping it gentle. We're just letting it flow. So keeping this side to side tap, we're just gonna start to swing the arms into a little figure eight pattern. You guys know this is one of my favorite moves. <laughs> so just let it go. And again, we're working the core muscles around the waistline here. So just think about keeping a little gentle hug from your belly button into the baby. So think about hugging your baby with your abdominal muscles, nice and gentle. Yeah, good. So you can stay with this range of motion or you could even try to amp it up a little bit by adding more height at the top. So this is definitely gonna start to shoot that heart rate up a little higher, yeah, Court? Oh yeah. So we're making it bigger only if we feel ready. So if you start to get tired or too winded, take it back to that smaller range of motion for us. Yes, nice, good. Give me four more, three more, two more. Beautiful, just let your arms come down, give me a step tap. So we're gonna angle our body to face our left leg. So it looks like this, just turn to square your hips up to your leg, good. Now from here, we're just gonna do a very small little lunge position. So keeping the weight kind of centered in that front leg, yeah. So your front knee is lining up towards the ankle. Keep the body straight up and down for me. Good, so we're gonna use the upper body here. I want you to bend your elbows into your sides, push out, pull back, push out, pull back. So using the posture muscles, as you bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades back and together for me. Good, so remember we really wanna protect the knees even more so now that you're pregnant. So just watch the alignment here of that front knee, making sure those knees stay behind the toes. Two more. Good, now take the elbows back, give me a little pulse and hold. All we're gonna do with this little pulse is alternate one arm pushing at a time. So now I'm gonna twist my shoulders a little more, activating the core, working our balance, right? How's that feeling, Court? Yeah, a little tough to balance. It was hard for me to look back over my shoulder there. Squeeze, good. So just really feel that upper back, keep the chest lifted, abs hugging the baby. Good, press out through the hands. Four, three, beautiful. Give me two more. Nice, let's just take it back to that step tap. Breathe for a sec. Square back up to me. You doing good? Yeah, okay. Nice, so step tap with those toes. Just breathe. Good, so now we get to set it up on the other side. So we're gonna face into the leg, squaring up the hips. Beautiful. Good. Now go ahead and steady your feet. Go into that lunge, down and up. We're gonna bend the elbows behind us. Push out, pull back, perfect. Good, squeeze. I love it, she can't even see what I'm doing, but she's right on it. There you go, that's my sister. <laughs> Push out through those palms, press and pull. Good, and that back knee is just gonna go straight down underneath your hip, as close to the floor as feels comfortable for you. Good, so it might be a little smaller than your lunge used to be, and that's okay. Working with how you feel today, and your energy is gonna change from day to day. So just go with what you got today. Let's take it down and pulse it. Elbows stay back, pulse. Start with your front arm pushing forward, and push and pull, good. So pressing out through the heels of the hands, keeping that belly button hugging around the baby, good. Just think about drawing in through the waistline as much as you can. Good. Stay with us here. We got eight, six, four, three, two, gorgeous. Take it back to your step tap, uh-huh. You were right, I'm following you. We're good. <laughs> Perfect. Take it back to the center. Let's do that figure eight swoop. Woo, yeah. So, you should really feel like that engine is revving, kind of on the highway, right? So we're in cruise control, but we're going about 80 miles an hour. So the engine is nice and hot. 
but it's not overheating. If you find yourself getting to that point where you're starting to smoke a little bit, take it down. Keep breathing. If you want a little more, give me that up and over. Oh yeah, nice, nice. That's it. Good. Just let it go. Big scoops. Gorgeous. Let's do eight more right here. It's eight, six, and four, three, two. Let's walk it out. Just hold. Good. So again, just catch your breath. Just kind of recenter a little bit. You're doing so good. Just keep on breathing, keep on walking with us. So all we're gonna do is just take the feet out, out, in, in. It goes out and in, out and in. Just a way to mix up the walk a little bit. Good. Now all we're gonna do here is a little bit of forward and back. So watch me once, I'm gonna step forward, out, and in to go back. So it's a little V step. That's it, out and in, good. Nice. Now if you wanted to, you can get a little funky with a little hips. Yeah, there you go. Out and in, good. This is where we wake up the baby. We make sure the baby's <laughs> dancing with us. Feeling any kicks yet? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Four more. Three. Two, give me one more. Just walk and hold it and breathe. Good. Nice. Okay, so we're going to work a little bit more on the back side of the body. So we're just going to angle a little bit on a diagonal so it's easier for you at home to see us. Starting with the hands on the hips, we're just going to tap one foot at a time back behind us. And there's a little bit of a bend in the knees. Now when I come back in with my feet, they're hip width apart, maybe a little wider. So we have a better stable base to work from. Good. That's it. So it's just a little tap back. So you could stay with the tap or just start to give me a little brush back. Up to you. Now from here you can either dial this up or keep it where you are or go back to the tap. So lots of options. If you want to dial it up, you can add a little bit of a little push off through that squat position, squeezing through those cheeks. So one thing Courtney has told me or asked me for is some works for the booty, right? So we wanna keep the backside as lifted and as rounded as the front is getting, right? So we're gonna squeeze to the cheeks here, really press it out, good, nice. Now again, optional, if you wanted to add a little more intensity, you could take those arms up by your ears and just keep them there as you tap or brush back. And you're gonna keep a little lean forward from your hips naturally. Squeeze so that leg has some room to lift. Good. Can we do eight more? Six, four, three, two. Let's just walk it out. Bring it down and breathe. Good. Excellent. You're doing great, Court. You're doing great. So let's keep those feet about hip width apart. And now we're going to go into more of a basic squat position. So steady your feet. Just give me a little squat and stand. So it doesn't have to be a huge range of motion. Just imagine you're sitting back into a chair here. Good. And we're going to keep working the back side of our body here. All I want you to do is reach your arms out in front of you, and as we stand, we're gonna pull through our upper back. Stand and squeeze. Yes, down, pull back, that's it, good. So you sit back and reach forward. Now check in with your neck for me. What we don't wanna do is strain by looking up. So kind of drop your chin to your chest. Imagine you're holding a grapefruit between your chin and your chest. So you're keeping the back of your neck nice and long here. Good, yes, beautiful. Gorgeous, just give me four more here. It's four, three, two. Take it down, just give me a squat pulse, hands come to the thighs for a little more support. Good, so taking some breaths. We're just gonna round the spine. So I want you to round and then arch and release. Take a deep inhale, exhale, release it. Good, two more. Deep breath in, exhale it out. 
Last one, deep breath in, exhale it out. Let's go ahead and roll all the way back up to a nice tall standing position. Just working through that upper body, give me a reach. Good. So just steady the feet, working the sides of the waistline. Stretch it up tall, good. So we're coming around to the end of this gentle cardio session. You're almost home. Stay with us. We have eight, six, four, three. Now let's just take a stretch, reaching one arm up. Go ahead and bend your elbow and just give me a nice side bend. Take it up, stretch. Let's go to the other side. So we're gonna stretch up, reaching for the ceiling. Take it up and over, let your elbow just bend. Lift up. Good, and release it. Shoulder rolls up and back, take a deep breath. Good. Nice, so is the heart rate starting to calm just a bit? Yeah, good. So taking it back. Yeah. Good, one more. Now just step one foot forward from me. You're gonna bring the other heel back behind you. So there's a little balancing involved here. We wanna press the back heel into the floor so we stretch through the calves. Take your hands behind your hips and just gently kind of open your chest. Think about lifting your heart to the ceiling. Good, how's that feel? Good, feels great, we like that. Good. Gently and carefully bring yourself back up. Just step your back foot to your front and let's do it on the other side. So we wanna plant the heel down, get your bearings, get centered. Hands behind the hips, just lift the chest to the sky. Keep calming down the breath. Yes, very nice. Let's bring the feet together. And let's just take a nice deep breath in, stretching both arms up. Exhale, let it all go. One more time, sending lots of oxygen to your baby here. And go ahead and let it go, good. So if you have more energy and you wanna keep working out with us, continue on to our strength routine, or you can also try our prenatal stretch routine. Otherwise, you're done for the day. Thank you so much for moving with us today. Thank you, Courtney, for being here with me. <laughs> so fun working out with you. And we look forward to working with you guys again soon. Remember, take care of your body, take care of your baby, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.